Welcome to the trump tided states of America. That's right, America is no longer united. Trump is taking away our freedom in the name of freedom. How ironic is that? Um, yeah, I'm actually being serious. Our freedom is being taken away in the name of freedom, and here's how. Just recently, a Republican-sponsored bill that was passed only by Republican support, and here's the funny part. 15 Republicans actually went against their own party and voted with the Democrats against the bill. The bill was to um, to veto, to overhaul, uh, to get rid of the law that made corporations ask us for permission to give away our rights. So now corporations don't have to ask our permission before they give away our private information, sell our private information to the highest bidder, including the government, other corporations. Some corporations like Google and Microsoft said that they will abide by the previous law that uh, meant that some corporations will still ask our permission. But now by law, it's no longer required. So other corporations can just give away our information to whoever they want. But before, it, it, it even went further, like completely saying that corporations can do whatever they want, basically, to that extent, in the name of freedom, corporate freedom, freedom for corporations, since corporations are now considered citizens. Thank you, Citizens United. Trump said that he's against Citizens United. Apparently not. And here is the thing. Infowars actually talked about this. I watched a right, right wing watch video about this very thing. And guess what? They gave the, the name of the resolution. When I looked it up, all Republican support. Every single Democrat on both sides on both seats of the House, voted against it. Yeah, that's right. Democrats voted against a law that would allow our freedom to be taken away by corporations. Yeah. Guess, who was, guess who's on our side? The Democrats are. Most Democrats voted against the Patriot Act. Most Republicans voted for it. Bernie Sanders not only voted against the Patriot Act, he voted against the Freedom Act, which, to everybody's surprise, Obama's actually supported. So, it made a lot of people angry, it made me a little upset, thinking such a pro-freedom person would uh, sign such a law. I mean, even though the, pa the Freedom Act is, more, is actually more against the bulk data collection, it's still taking away our freedoms, but at a lesser extent. But Trump wants to bring back the full Patriot Act. So yeah, Trump is not an outsider. He's not. Trump is actually the ultimate insider. First of all, he's a billionaire. Second of all, until just recently, he owned one of the biggest real estate empires in the world. You go down to Sunny Isles Beach, if you look closely, you'll see Trump Tower, Trump Tower, Trump or Trump. International Hotel, Trump International Hotel, Trump International Hotel, all along Collins Avenue between 180th Street and 150th Street, Collins Avenue, Sunny Isles Beach. Yeah, Trump is currently the uh, Not only is Trump doing all these things, but... But our rights are slowly being taken away. But there's a silver lining to all of this. Cuomo has just... No, in New York, we now have a new legislation, a new law. I guess what? We now have our own free tuition for anyone who makes under $100,000. And soon will be under $110,000 for each individual. Of course, I don't even make 10000 a year, so <laughs> of course I qualify. But here's the thing. In order to get the scholarship, which was just approved by lawmakers in New York 
few days well, yesterday, you have to be a full time student. But then again, there's an exception to that exception. That exception is is yeah, if you have a disability. If you have a disability, you don't have to be a full time student. Um, so the whole scholarship for full time students only applies to people who don't have disabilities. And there are a lot of people with disabilities. You know, autism, which I have. So I'm, a, I'm, I'm excluded from that. Neurological issues such as, um, or any disability for that matter. Um, like even physical disabilities, because sometimes you can't go to college full time because you might, because you might be in a wheelchair. So yeah, it, there's also exceptions to that rule as well. So now I could save my Pell Grant for later and go to graduate school using the Pell Grant. You know what Cuomo is doing is amazing. He should run for president. He and Bernie should run together. A perfect Trump buster. Cuomo, Bernie Sanders together will crush Trump. Crush him like a book. Just, <laughs> But there's a couple issues the two need to work on. Bernie Sanders is from the most pro-gun states in the country. Actually, the most pro-gun state in the country. And I think Bernie needs to spread his pro-gunism, his Second, Amend Second Amendment views, all over the country. And I think Andrew Cuomo also needs to be a little more pro-Second Amendment, like me. I don't have any guns. I don't support the NRA for their conservatism. But I am a very, very, very supportive of the Second Amendment. As a socialist, of course. For left-wing reasons. But also, but more, no, for personal reasons. By left-wing, I mean individual rights. Anarchy, anarchism, which is the core values of what libertarianism is, is left-wing. The international anthem of the, of the global anarchist movement is the international. The internationality. So here is the thing. To be anti-government, anti-authoritarian, pro-gun, is left-wing. So for all you conservatives, the, the, so conservative is to be, so everything's like the old way, with monarchies, big government, rights being taken away, things we fought for and died in this country during the revolution. Yes, the American Revolution was a left-wing movement. However, we still had slavery. That was a big drawback. And a lot of the conservatives, not all of them, but a lot of them, do want to kind of go back to the racist ways. So they're more subtle racism, like calling sensitive people snowflakes. Um, what is the other term? Pussy, sissy, faggot. And the list goes on and on and on and on. I mean, I have a disability, so here's the thing. I've dealt with a lot of fucking crap through my life. Bullied. Physically assaulted. Yeah. I made videos where I described what it was like for me in public school, where I was beaten up and bullied for having autism. And the teachers not only stood by and did nothing, but actually punished me for being bullied. And you at first think, oh, he's just a snowflake who's complaining about the bullying. If you, of course, if you are a conservative nut job, but if you actually went through the same thing I went through, and have the marks to prove it, you will realize that maybe this kid is onto something. When I was being bullied, I'm gonna go all over tangent here. I didn't get any physical bruising or injuries, except a couple times, but. I have an internal injury that's pretty bad, and I, I'm still working on it. I'm still going to therapy for it. I uh, sprain one of my a vertebrae in my back, and it still flares up from time to time. It's my lower back. Sometimes I still have to pop it, crack it, so it doesn't go out of line, because I hurt pretty badly. And another injury, which is, which is you need to like feel it. I have a bump on my shin from when I was kicked by a bully. Show you where it is too. It's right here. <clears throat> it's right here on my shin. It's right here. You can't really see it. It's um it's kind of a it's on the shit bone, so it's a little like a little bump on the bone. 
It's kind of like extra bone growth from a bruising on the bone. When I was being, uh, during one of the times where a couple kids kicked me when I was in middle school. So yeah, been bullied a lot. The physical bullying was a couple times a week. The verbal bullying was daily. Threats were daily. So yeah, I was pretty badly bullied when I was in public school. And even when I went to a special needs school, the bullying was worse, but that was, or j just as bad, and that was actually from the staff. And the thing is, I was so angry, I, I got so much anger issues from the previous school where I was bullied, that now, when a staff member would be aggressive with me, physically aggressive, I started becoming very, very violent. And I broke a lot of property. I punched several holes in walls, flipped water coolers over, tables over. But that's only if they became physically aggressive with me. Or if they, but if they accused me of something I didn't do, I might curse, I might scream, but I would never become violent. Actually, no. I did big property if I got falsely accused. Because many times, you know how I got punished for being bullied? Basically, being punished for no reason? Being scapegoated? I just got so tired of that. When I got punished for something I didn't do, I flipped out. But I flipped out even more if people put their hands on me. Thank you for watching. Bye. So that's basically my life and my political views. I'm a libertarian socialist. Proud one, too. To even prove it, I have this flag right here. And my favorite anthem is international, just to let you know. Maybe I should paint this flag black and red. You know, because I believe more in libertarianism. Yeah, that's my flag. Bought it online. Um, and also my Bernie, uh, my Bernie, um, my Bernie signs are still hanging out the window. Bernie for president. See, never got rid of my Bernie signs. They're still there. Never taking it down. Yep, that's right. I'm still a Bernie supporter. But I voted for Jill Stein in the primary. I mean, in the general. I'm not going to vote for Clinton. She's a traitor. And she's a corp. She's another corporatist just like Trump. She basically sold out to Trump. She knew, she basically, the whole thing was rigged in favor of Trump. Everybody thought the thing was rigged in favor for Clinton. It was really rigged in favor of Trump. Trump and Clinton, they're like this. I mean, Trump, Clinton went to Trump's inauguration, proved that they were basically wrapped around each other. Well, thank you for watching. Bye. Plus, just to let you know, Clinton used to be a Republican. So, there you have it. And then she became, oh, you know, Democrat anti-war. Yeah, but she supports the death penalty. She was recently anti-LGBT until like five years ago. So, um, it's not, what she says is one thing. What she is is another. That's why I never voted for Clinton and I never will. Thank you for watching. Bye.